Welcome. Today we're talking about Honda's best-selling vehicle, CRV. CRV has plenty of competitors like the RAV4, the Equinox, or the Escape, all of which are, have been reviewed on this channel already. According to Honda, CRV stands for Comfortable Runabout Vehicle. The CRV fits right in Honda's lineup, right above the smaller HRV and right below the bigger Pilot. Believe it or not, the CRV actually borrows the Honda Civic's platform and has been the best-selling SUV in America for over 20 years now. Let's hop into our time machine and head back to 1996 for a little history. The CRV was Honda's first in house designed utility vehicle, and it was marketed as a luxury vehicle in Japan. Ironically, the CRV only came in one trim, the base model LX. Amazingly, the first two generations of CRV came equipped with a factory picnic table. Even more amazing, they never offered it again. They have been five generations of CRV, and they are still going strong. This fifth generation CRV was released for 2017. It brought with it changes like four way power lumbar. And if you watch any other video on this channel that mentions lumbar, you know I like my lumbar. For 2020, Honda refreshed the CRV again, bringing with it the first hybrid CRV ever to be released in America. They dropped the original 2.4 liter engine for a 1.5 liter turbo. They also did minor changes to the exterior, but more importantly, made Honda Sense and Standard on all CRVs. The CRV comes with Honda's four most basic trims. As you can see here, they start at about $25,000. This is a $36,000 Honda CRV touring with all wheel drive and platinum white pearl and it comes with 19 inch alloy wheels. The CRV has two engine options, either a gas only version like this one or a hybrid. Every CRV comes with a 14 gallon fuel tank, curb weight of about 3,500 pounds, and a CVT. The gas only version of the CRV comes with a max towing capacity of about 1,500 pounds. Not sure how that helps you, but that's about two and a half pigs. The CRV is a very maneuverable car with an 18.7 foot turning radius, which is similar to most cars of its class. Like most Hondas, this one drives great with a responsive steering wheel as well as an excellent suspension. The 1.5T offers enough power to get what you need done. Although I know it'll never happen, I'd love to see the CRV with a V6 in it. Because it's an SUV, you have great visibility on the road. It comes with a built-in garage door opener, as well as Honda's awkward conversation mirror, which doubles as a sunglass holder. It comes with an earthy feel in here with a wood grain trim all around. In the front comes with LED headlights, as well as fog lights, as well as LED tail lights in the rear. It comes with a hands-free liftgate, which as you can see has its own set of instructions. It comes with this cargo area cover back here, which is nice if you're trying to hide something in the back, perhaps a body. As well as these nice handles here, which drop the seats as easy as the pull of a handle. Underneath here, you got a full size spare, as well as dividers on both sides that can easily be removed, and four tie down points for anything you may need to tie down in the trunk. Because this is a touring trim, it comes with these roof rails up here, which is great if you intend to bring some kayaks on the roof, or maybe even a canoe. All hybrid CRVs come with all-wheel drive standard. If you buy a gas-only version, it is an option. But it's worth noting that if you do get the all-wheel drive version, you get an extra six inches of ground clearance. For those who don't want all-wheel drive but want an extra six inches, there's pills on the internet. To keep everyone comfortable, it comes with leather seats all the way around, as well as heated seats in the front. It comes with dual-zone climate, as well as a heated steering wheel. As if the driver's seat isn't already good enough with the heated steering wheel, it's adjustable in 12 different ways with two driver memory. Like every other new Honda I've done, it comes with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay compatibility. And finally, if you have a modern phone, it comes with a wireless phone charger, which is kind of useless if you're trying to use the Apple CarPlay or Android Auto because it needs to be plugged in anyway. As everyone knows, Honda and safety go together like chokers and daddy issues. This one doesn't break the mold with an IHS type safety pick, as well as Honda sensing standard. Still not enough, it comes with the same brain sensing wipe as we saw in the Accord, but then just as well. A little bit better actually. The CRV comes with an auto dimming mirror, something that I think all cars should come with today, as well as Honda's blind spot indicator instead of their lane watch technology, which you'll see on the HRV next week. Over here, you got a multi angle backup camera, like we've seen on probably every other Honda that we've done. Three different camera modes. This one's good for backing up to a trailer. And these are good for any other times. The CRV's rival is the Toyota RAV4. If it were the previous generation RAV4, I could do this blindfolded. But because Toyota has decided to compete again, it's not so easy. The CRV has the better interior of the two with the soft touch materials instead of Toyota's hard plastics. Not only does the CRV have more cargo space, but it also offers a more spacious cabin for people. The CRV offers a better ride, more selection of technology, as well as a more comfortable interior. Similar CRVs are about $1,000 cheaper than the RAV4 counterpart. However, the RAV4 offers a more powerful engine, is safer with a top safety pick plus, and JD Power predicts the RAV4 to be slightly more reliable. My winner is the CRV because it has more space, a better interior, and drives better.
The pros for the CRV are its technology. It's spacious with excellent cargo space as well as cabin space. It handles well, it's safe, it's maneuverable, and it's comfortable. Where it falls short is its engine, which again offers enough power, but nothing more. If you're looking for a compact SUV, look no further. The CRV is as good as they come. With its plentiful cargo space, technology, and comfort, it certainly is a winner. No longer am I surprised this is the best selling crossover SUV in America, let alone Honda's best selling car. The only problem I have with the new CRV is that it doesn't come with a factory picnic table like the first and second generations did. However, even without the picnic table, this is a great car. Please put any questions or comments you may have below. Thank you.